Hi, dear Odooers, and welcome back to this video on online payments. Odoo integrates with a variety of third-party payment providers that allow customers to pay online with credit cards, mobile banking, etc. In this video, we'll be discussing how to configure your database to accept these online payments from your customers. So let's get right into it. Here we are on our database, and the first thing we're going to do is go into the settings, and we are going to turn on the invoice online payment setting. So when we search the settings for online payment, you'll see we have a few similar options. The online payment option in the sales section allows customers to confirm their sales orders by paying their quotation online. The automatic invoice feature found here in the website section will create invoices automatically whenever the customer pays online. And finally, this invoice online payment feature allows your customers to pay their invoices online once you post them. And this is the one that we'll be exploring in this video. So now that this is enabled, let's take a look at our payment providers under configuration, payment providers. We'll open the Adyen provider to take a look at what the configuration looks like. And here you can see we have the option for it to be disabled, enabled, or in test mode. Notice that if you do use the test mode of a payment provider, you will also want to publish the provider up here. In this first tab, we have all of our credentials regarding this provider, so all of our keys that we've received from the provider get entered here. In the configuration tab, we have the option to allow customers to save their payment information, as well as the option to capture payments manually if we want to wait to charge them until we ship their products, for example. And if we want to put a limit on the maximum amount or on the currencies and countries that we will accept payments from, then we can do that here or we can leave them all blank so it's available for all countries and all currencies. We also have the journal that these payments will be posted in. And if we open that journal, we can see that in the incoming payments tab, we automatically have this payment method included. Now, back on the payment provider itself, we also have the messages tab so that we can customize the feedback that our customers receive when they pay. Let's see an online payment in action. So the first thing I'll do is go back to the dashboard and create a new invoice for our friends at Acres Lawn Care. And we are going to be selling them some lavender today. So I'll go ahead and send this email to the customer so that they can view the invoice and then pay it online. So we'll confirm and then send and print. So we can go ahead and send this and the pay, the customer should receive it shortly. What does that look like from the customer point of view, this invoice? So we can actually open that email that I just sent to view it from the customer's perspective. So when they open the email, it's going to look just like this with a link to the customer portal. Here the customer is going to be able to view the invoice itself, and they have a button inviting them to pay now. Since we're just testing this now, we'll use the test uh, demo payment method and we'll process the payment. We can see the message from the payment provider and that the status of the invoice is updated to paid. So now let's go to the back end of our database and take a look at the invoice. We can see that the remaining amount due, if we refresh the page, is now zero and that the status is in payment because we haven't yet reconciled it with our bank transaction. We have all of the important information recorded here in the chatter, and we even have a smart button linking to the payment itself. So now you know all about payment providers and how to set them up in Odoo. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.